Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we have an interesting lead code problem to solve. In Kotlin we will be tackling problem number one to some problem, so let's read the problem description and understand the requirements. So the problem is about finding two numbers in an array that add up to a given target value. We need to return the indices of these two numbers. We are given a few examples and we should assume that there is always one solution. So also we cannot use the same element uh, twice. Uh, and in bottom of the page, uh, there is also a follow-up question. Can you come up with an algorithm that is less than O n square time complexity? So brute force approach will not work here with two nested loops and we can check uh, every pair of i and j uh, until they uh, sum up to target. So yeah, this will not work as the complexity will be O n square and we can come up with a faster, more efficient uh, solution using hash maps and time complexity will be n because we will traverse our uh, array at most once. So let's implement it and explain. So first what we do, we create an mutable map to store the numbers and their indices. So value map, mutable map of int int and then iterate over the array and for i in nums indices calculate the complement for each number by subtracting it from the target. So value complement target minus num at position i and check if the complement exists in the map. So if map complement e complement. So if it does return the indices of the complement and the current number. So we found our two indices. So return int array of map complement and i. Otherwise, so if complement does not exist in map at the current number and its index to the map. So here is map number i and i. And if no solution is found after iteration, the entire array throw an exception. So we throw an exception, throw illegal argument, exception, no element add up to the target. And yeah, so uh, that's all. And let's run our implementation and see if it's work. Hopefully it does. So yeah, it's working. Perfect. So what we did, we started by initializing a mutable map called map to store the numbers we have encountered so far. And the key of this map will be the element from the input array. So it's very important. And the values uh, will be their corresponding indices. So next we iterate through the array using a for loop and uh, the indices property. For each element and index e, we calculate its complement by subtracting it from the target value. So now comes the interesting part. We check if the map already contained the complement as key. If it does, that means we have found a pair of numbers that add up to the target. In that case, we create and return 
an array of the indices corresponding to complement and the current element. So if the complement is not in the map, we add the current element to the map with its index as uh, the value and uh, index as a value. And this way we store it for future reference in case uh, its complement appears uh, later. And finally, if we go through the entire loop without finding a solution, we throw an illegal argument exception uh, to indicate that no two elements add up to the uh, target. And that's it. We have successfully solved the two sum problem in Kotlin and our solution has a time complexity of ON. It's always great to optimize our uh, algorithm and yeah, we can also like check a test case go through. So give an array of 2, 7, 11, 15 and target nine. First, we go with uh, first element, so two. So we have target of nine minus two. So complement is seven and we check whether we have encountered seven before. We don't, so we put number, our current number, so in this case two, and index of zero. And we go next iteration with number seven this time, so second number. And uh, target is nine minus seven, so complement is two. And we check whether we have previously encountered uh, two because our current number is seven. So yes, we have encountered previously number two. So we return the index we have stored with uh, encountered previously number two. And also we uh, return current index of our number. So number seven is uh, index one. So we return zero one and yeah, it's uh, correct uh, output of indices. And obviously two plus seven is nine. So this is uh, the solution with O and time complexity. And let's check for unsynthesized cases. Hopefully uh, they passed as well. So yeah, they passed and we beat 81% in runtime and also with respect to memory 71%. So very good implementation. And I hope you found this coding video helpful and enjoy solving the problem with me. If you have any question or suggestion for future videos, please let me know in the comment below and stay tuned for more coding adventures. And until next time, happy coding.